Today, we are making a brioche loaf. Oh wait, no. Welcome to Essentials. All right, so a brioche loaf is a type of bread that's super rich and has like very high egg and fat content. The fat being butter most of the time. And this produces like a rich and light texture. Very, very good. It's very good as French toast or even pudding. Most of the time, pinapakita ko sa inyo yung method is like straight method, wherein I just combine all the dry ingredients and then add in all the wet. But this time, I'm gonna show you one of the classic techniques, which is the sponge method. Right, so the sponge method produces lighter texture, better crumb structure, and of course, more flavor. And difference lang niya dun sa straight method is it takes more time. Why? Because first, we are gonna create our sponge which consists of 25% of the all-purpose flour or the flour that you're using, all of your yeast, and all of your liquid. In this case, we are using milk. So we mix that together and just rest it, set it aside for around 45 minutes. Cut na. Right, so after 45 minutes, we can start working on our main dough. So we just add all of our remaining all-purpose flour, and then some sugar, then our salt. And then we add the eggs one at a time. And once it's all there, all hydrated, we add in our sponge mixture. And then we just combine it, develop the gluten by mixing and mixing. After three to five minutes of mixing using your stand mixer, if you have it, that's when we will add one cup or one bar of butter. Now, when I add it, I don't just cube it. I actually uh, slice it into very thin sticks of butter. Then we add it one at a time. And then we just mix it again for a total of around eight to 10 minutes until the butter is beautifully melted into the dough and the gluten is well developed. After that, we do bulk fermentation for another 30 minutes or until the dough at least doubles in volume. And then on a flat, lightly buttered surface, we will put in the dough, punch down the dough, divide it into six equal balls, then turn it into like a, it's gonna be a bit sticky and very soft, so it's best to work with this dough in an air-conditioned room or kung hindi, I mean, you just have to be fast with your hands. Well, what I usually do if it's too hot, for the first and only bulk fermentation, I, I let it do its thing inside the fridge. Para lang, it's easier to handle when I put it on the flat surface. Then just roll it or fold it into a ball and then add three into the corner of your greased loaf pans. Now we proof the loaves for at least one hour, 45 minutes to one hour, or until it doubles in volume. So the dough is doubled in volume. Time to brush with some egg wash. Again, this is just equal parts water and egg. So one egg, so around four tablespoons of water or one fourth cup. If you're feeling fancy, you wanna go, go all out, you can use milk instead of water. Cut na. <laughs> and then preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We will let it bake for 20 to 25 minutes until it's lightly browned or until very light. And then after that, we will rest it still in the pan for at least five minutes. So this has cooled down completely around 10 to 15 minutes in the loaf pan. Why you may ask? Because if, if we unmold it or depan it too early, it might flatten a bit. It might get deformed since the structure nya came just it came right out of the oven, malambut lambut pa. Ang mangyari, baka mag umimpis or, let me show you guys. At this part or this, yung baka yung sides niya might cave in. Gets, it might not be able to hold the weight of the top. It's papangit siya. So it's really best to cool it down in your pan a few minutes before depanning it. This bread would keep at room temp for around three to four days. Since meron nga siyang high fat, high sugar, madali rin siyang Mapanis. Kapag nasa labas, baka magamold. So, if you wanna keep it for like around a week, wrap it tightly, put it in your fridge, and you'll always have a slice ready. Tingnan natin structure before I say goodbye to y'all. So, as you can see, the, the color is yellowish compared to the 
tasty bread. Tasty is actually a brand. It's called a Pullman loaf. So yan. Ito, it's yellow because of the amount of eggs and the amount of butter that we put in it. Diba? Ang ganda ng kulay niya. And it's definitely perfect siya for French toast or turning it into a pudding when it gets super old. So yeah, brioche loaf for you guys. I hope you guys try this. Happy Essentials. I'll see you guys next time. Sana may Essentials pa.